Hi, everybody. <clears throat> hmm, that sounded weird. Sometimes your, your own voice sounds weird. <laughs> Hi, everybody. There, that sounds more like me. Okay. Ever happened to you? Sometimes you don't sound like you. <laughs> I hope you're all having a great day. As you can see, it's sunny out here. You can see some blue sky peeking through those bare branches. Um, still a little chilly. It's in the 20s, but it's warmer than it was in Texas. I was just so, so, so shocked when I was seeing the footage from Texas and other places in the... Um, and the Midwest and the Plain States and how bitter, bitter cold it is. I feel for you guys. I really do. Man, terrible. So I've been a busy bee. I've been so busy that I didn't even get to do my car chat yesterday, uh, which is Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. So I'm flip-flopping my days a little bit, but that's okay. That's what we've got to do sometimes, you know, to make it work. So, what have you been working on, Jules? Let me tell you. <laughs> I've been working on a new blanket. It's a granny square blanket, but they're really big squares. Hold one up for you. It is a baby blanket. Um, so, there's only going to be four of these. And there's going to be a nice wide border on it. So, it's really, really soft. I love it. Uh, let me show you what yarn it is. Ooh. Um, it's called Yarn Bee Glowing, and the color is Coast is Clear. I got this last summer during the um, clearance sale, as you can see. It was only $1.37 a skein, so I got four of them, which is why there's going to be four squares, because it takes almost an entire skein to make one square. So, that's a nice little project that I've been working on. The white that I'm using, because I am also using a little bit of white, and I'll use white for the, the border and to uh, connect the squares. That uh, white is just Premier Basics in white. So, I love Premier Basics. Love it. It's one of my favorite yarns. It's really a lot like... Um, Studio by Nicole, which actually you can get through Premier now, but they used to sell that at AC Moore. I think it was their house brand. And um, yeah, I used to love, love, love Studio Classics by Nicole. I bought lots of that yarn. And then, of course, when we lost our AC Moore, I stopped buying it. So um, I believe, though, you can get it through the Premier website. So if you are a Studio Classics by Nicole fan like I was, check it out. Okay, so that is one of the projects I'm working on. And I finished, actually I finished this in one day. Not the teddy bear, though it is so cute. Um, the little bonnet. It's very similar to the other bonnet I made. It is a bit wider here at the back. The other one is just a V. It, it, um, there's no space here. Like there's a space of, I think, 10 stitches here. So it's a little different. And then this one also uses some treble crochet and treble, uh, treble crochet uh, V stitches. And then these are double crochet V stitches. So it's a little bit different. Um, and I don't have a baby doll to model my bonnet. So. I just use this cute little Build-A-Bear that my son made when he was really little. And this is really funny. I had forgotten that when he made this Build-A-Bear that he put in the little musical thing. So if you squeeze his little paw, it plays Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or something. And I had forgotten that. And it was sitting on the little chair in my bedroom and my husband sat on it and it started to sing. So it was kind of funny. Isn't he cute? I had to pull him out of storage cute little Build-A-Bear. Okay, what else have I got going? I was going to show you a little tool that I use all the time. And it's these fun little scissors that my friend Emmy sent to me. See, it's got this cute little cover so you don't poke through or cut anything like in your bag. And look how tiny they are. 
But brother, they might be small, but they are mighty. They are really sharp. They're perfect to take with you. And um, because they've got these nice big handles, I just stick this little carabiner on them. And then I attach it to my bag, my little project bag. So I always can find them. That's my tip of the day. <laughs> Carabiners on your scissors. So that's all I've got going on yarn-wise. Um, doing a lot of baby stuff because some of you already know we're expecting some babies in my family. And one's a boy and one's a girl. So lots of opportunity for baby stuff. And also this week on yarn hookers, it's going to be all baby stuff. All baby stuff. Oh, baby. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun. You know what else I'm excited about seeing, guys? Is I'm excited to see the spring stuff coming into the stores. Because spring is my favorite season. I love summer. Love summer. I'm okay with fall. The weather's beautiful, but it's always like the fun's almost over kind of season. Because you know winter is coming. And I'm not a fan of winter. But I love spring. Um, I just love that whole rebirth you know uh, the grass starts to turn green the trees start to get leaves on them flowers start to bloom yeah I I will take Easter over Christmas any day I just love it it means spring is here and if you could see what I'm seeing it wouldn't look like spring is coming anytime soon in fact I think we're supposed to get another winter storm tomorrow or Friday <laughs> but you know gotta take the good with the bad right so at any rate I had to go up to the family dollar store today and um, buy a little something something for my son to surprise him and while I was there I saw this cute little chick <laughs> so you know whippy chick had to buy this what do you think, Charlie Brown? Isn't it so cute? <laughs> it's so cute and so soft. And I don't normally buy this kind of stuff. But look at its feet. Honestly, how could you resist this? If you are the whippy chick and you see this, you can't resist it. It's so cute. So anyway, I have a new friend. I think it might live on my desk in my office because it's just too cute. And it makes me smile to look at it. You make me smile. So that's about it. That's about all I've got. I did put up recently um, a review on the hook that I've been using to make this blanket. Let's see if I can find it really quick. This hook. I don't know why I keep it in the package. I could just take it out. Apparently this type of wood is the strongest wood like on earth. Um, so I've been using this hook to make that blanket, um, and I recently did a review on it, um, earlier this week. So I'm going to leave a link for you if you want to go check it out, because it's a really cool hook. Also, I've got another hook review coming out probably next week. It's already filmed. I just have to edit it and put it together. Um, and that one is on my new furls hook. So be on the lookout for that review as well. If you've ever wanted to try a furls hook check out my review. I'll let you know what I thought of mine, which is another gift from the wonderful Emmy. She's so sweet. Man, I wish I lived closer to Emmy. I'd love to go see her alpacas. She's got alpacas. How cool is that? Another good thing about spring, that's when the Korea are due. I think I'm saying it right. Emmy, let me know if I'm not, but I believe Korea is how you say baby alpaca. <laughs> Okay, I think that's all I've got for you today. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. It's a beautiful day here. It really is beautiful. The sun is shining. The sky is blue with some fluffy clouds. It's just cold. But that's, that's winter. It's cold. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I hope you have a great, great day. And I will see you when I see you. <laughs> it depends on what, what tomorrow brings. We'll see. 
don't forget, look for the beauty in every day because it's out there. Even if it's just a silly little dollar store chick. Yeah, a dollar for this fun. Okay, bye-bye.